Dermosidan gel is a oral formulation of sedation and restraint for horses. Probably the most common place we see this product used are just for minor husbandry type of procedures, such as, you know, trimming or shoeing of the feet. Let's say you need to body clip the horse or clip the bridle path, braid a mane, pull a mane, uh, sheath cleaning sometimes. Some of these horses that have to be stalled and we do bandage changes on, those types of things. So anytime we need a little bit of restraint or to take the edge off that horse, this is a good product for that use. The gel product is designed really just to take the edge off horses. So we have uh, mild restraint and sedation claims with this. We do not have any claims for analgesia or what we call pain relief with this product. So it differs significantly from the injectable product. Recovery will somewhat depend on the horse. The effects of this drug, we usually expect to see one and a half to three hours worth of sedation after a dose of this product. And so then full recovery, it may take another two to three hours after that for, for us to see the horse back to normal. It's important for everybody to understand that this is a prescription product. Even though it's designed for the horse owner or the caretaker to administer to the animal, it is still a prescription product. So the appropriate and legal process to acquire this would include the horse owner contacting his or her veterinarian and making arrangements ahead of time. Say, okay, the farrier's gonna come out next week and, and my horse doesn't get along with the farrier very well and we need to take the edge off a little bit. So what we're gonna do is have the owner go talk to their veterinarian. The veterinarian then, who's familiar with the horse and what's gonna be needed, will then dispense this product directly to the owner. The owner can take that home and then about 45 minutes or an hour or so before the farrier is due to be there, the owner can administer this product put the horse up, let the horse, you know, in a quiet area, just let the horse be after you administer it. And then by the time the farrier gets out there, everything should be good to go.